these newcomers use discipline control from their two wheelchair motor drive or a maverick approach with that front flipper. Tactical advice comes from team member Brett. He's 10. Hello, I'm Francis, this is Brett, this is my dad Kevin, and this is our robot Maverick. It's powered by two electric wheelchair motors, and the weapon is powered by a soda stream bottle and a truck actuator. From Derby, and seated number 32, Suicidal Tendencies. The bendy pneumatic action front forklift give high-class weaponry at either end. It runs on tracks hand-built from aluminium, and it runs mates too close in its heat in the last series. It was a real bash, bruise and shunt that tendencies bore the brunt of the attacks of Mace 2 and in the end went out. Promises though damage and an aggressive competition this time around again. Good robot. Hi, I'm Charles Binns. This is Andrew Jeffrey and this is Martin Jeffrey, the brothers. This is Suicidal Tendencies. We're here from the last war, Series 3. Now we're here for the next war. Lots more battles. The new improved suicide tenders got a little toothpick here to obviously punch some holes in robots. There's a nice titanium front lifters here to lift them or flip them and put them in the flame pit. Same tracks again, very fast, fastest track robot around. Lots of pneumatics, gas tanks, batteries, powerful electric motors. Hopefully we're going to do very well. From Maidstone in Kent, get a try. Third in the second series, and pretty in pink, the big axe is back. Two 24-volt driven machine, quick at 15 miles an hour. Genuine contenders again. In that second series, they used every bit of the 80 kilos force to see off Technophobic. But the weaponry proved too lightweight against the then reigning champions, Roadblock. And Killatron went out finishing third in the competition. This is Killatron. He's a veteran of robot wars. This is Abdul. He's the engineer. And this is Ian. He operates the pickaxe, which is our main weapon, which we hope to do lots of destruction with. Roboteers, stand by. There's Maverick with young Francis and Brett, Kevin Gallagher there in the background, suicidal tendencies. Andrew Martin Jeffrey, Charles Binns, the driver. And killer shot. Richard Broad at the controls, Abdul and Ian with him. So it's Killatron moving first. You can see the axe slamming down. And again, taking on Maverick. In comes suicidal tendencies. They say they've got a, a toothpick of an axe this time around. Oh, there it is! Just a little flick. It really doesn't seem greatly effective against the mightier blow of that Killatron axe. Killatron at the moment, though, not causing any damage to anyone, and it's suicidal tendencies getting in underneath. Killatron, very fast track robot. Meanwhile, Maverick doing its stuff, just neatly, tidily, quietly effective. Little flick again of a toothpick comes out at a, a blur of speed there, not causing great damage, or is it, to the uh, shell of Killatron? Killatron getting those two 24 volt motors into action just to drive it away, but. Now, the front of punishment is for Maverick back into the CPZ and Matilda can come in with a chainsaw tail. Oh, Killatron slamming down onto the arena floor and bouncing up with the force of the attack. Now onto the top of suicidal tendencies. Bulletproof shield for the tendencies. Maverick still in there fighting. They've shown great, great invention and great character. The young boys, Francis Gallagher and his mate, Brett Skinner, both of them 10 at Spring Hill Junior School. Dad, Kevin Gallagher. Is a golfer, he says. Well, the boys are in control of Maverick, slamming into Killatron. Behind Killatron is suicidal tendencies. And the pink one at the moment is the meat between the sandwich. In comes Red Pop just to have a, a cursory glance. Suicidal tendencies moving sluggishly. A sticky old heat, this one. All three robots still in competition, it would seem at the moment. But suicidal tendencies in underneath Maverick. Down comes the hammer blow again from Killatron. This way up. Well, at the moment, they've not been flipping. They have now. Maverick over and out. Oh, disappointment for Kevin Gallagher, son Francis and young Brett. There they went. PTO, PTO, no. They don't have that message written there. They're over and out. And that means, yes, in come the house robots for the kill. Shunt with the axe. Penetrating. Look at that. Slicing through. Oh, and again. So very, very easy, like taking the top of a world egg and again. 
Oh, poor old Maverick. Gashes in the bottom. Split wide open Matilda, dead metal. The two remaining robots, Killathon and Suicidal Tendencies, just staying out of the way. This is dead metal. A slice is nice. Oh, and the flipper. Maverick is right in. Too late, though. They're immobilized too long, far too long, and they know it. Brave display. The boys go out.